Hello and welcome to this lecture in the IBM Cloud Foundation Skill Series. In this lecture we're going to continue to look at the services that are provided on the IBM Cloud. Again, I'm not going to go into minute details of each service here. I'm merely going to try and give you a feel for what each service is in a 30 second or so summary. And of course I'm breaking this down into several videos dealing with a few sections of the IBM Cloud catalogue in each. So this video, which should be relatively short, is going to concentrate on integration, IoT and security services that are available in the IBM Cloud. So beginning then with the integration services. First of all we have API Connect and this service is an end-to-end -end API lifecycle solution. So that means it helps developers create new APIs or microservices in either Node.js or Java. And it has a bunch of functionality in it that, to, to make sure that access to those APIs are then secure and controlled. And you can also use it to see how the APIs are being used through some built-in analytics tools. App Connect is a service that helps join up applications in so much that it helps define how data is moved between applications and workflows. And workflows are really useful because you have control over how data is automatically moved through the business applications. And because it's an automated flow, tasks can be kicked off without human interaction, so things get done more quickly. Event Streams is a high throughput message bus that's been built with Apache Kafka. Now the Lyft CLI is for you if you want to move large volumes of data from your on-premises databases or data stores to the IBM Cloud. This service has IBM Aspira embedded into it, and Aspira is an ultra-high speed and efficient data transport. It's over 10 times faster than traditional migration tools, and the service is completely secure as it's encrypted. So this is a really good bulk data loader. Next we have MQ, and this is a messaging service for getting information between applications. And lastly on this part of the catalogue we have Secure Gateway. And this is a means of connecting up resources to connect up resources in a protected environment. So, for example, that could be your on-premises data center and securely connecting that to the IBM Cloud. So, this is a great way to start creating hybrid cloud solutions where you have applications deployed on the cloud and say data sources deployed elsewhere in your on-premises data center, for example. Next up, we have our Internet of Things or IoT offerings. Now, again, IoT is a bit of a hot topic in IT at the moment, and if you're not sure what IoT is, well. It's all about connected devices and sensors taking data from those things and using data analytics to then make decisions. So for example, we have connected vehicles through the Internet of Things. We can detect dry or wet soil in fields, which then turns on or off irrigation systems. Or we can monitor the noise that tra train wheels make, which determines maintenance cycles in the railway industry. So we have a single service here, and it's called the Internet of Things platform. And this is actually pretty cool and quite good fun to play with. And hopefully we'll have a demo of that later in the series. But basically, you can connect up sensors. You can then start to graph out the data and start applying analytics and growing it out from there using this service. So last in this video, we have the security and identity services. Activity Tracker I mentioned in an earlier video. and This is a service which lets you um, audit activities going on inside your IBM Cloud account. App ID is a tool which allows you to add user authentication and create user profiles in your applications really simply and easily. Certificate Manager is there to help manage SSL certificates, so you can store them in a secure central repository and then track things like expiry dates and usage and so on. So if you use certificates in your apps, then this is really useful. Next, we have a number of um, security appliance services, and these are protecting IAS services, infrastructure services. Uh, the FortiGate Security Appliance is an enterprise class hardware firewall. That's a dedicated service and built for high throughput. The hardware firewall service provides a shared hardware firewall, so this is a lower cost solution because it provides shared hardware. And then the, uh, the hardware firewall dedicated provides a dedicated version of the service, so it's a bit more expensive but you can get your own piece of hardware. Next we have internet services, and this has appeared before too, but to recap, this uses Cloudflare and provides lots of services for internet facing applications which improve performance and security. So from the performance side of things, Internet Services makes the application available from lots of different points of presence, or POPs, around the globe, and uh, provides a DNS service as well as a load balancer. Then from the security side, it provides DDoS protection, a web application firewall, TLS protocol security for data transfers, as well as things like rate limiting, smart routing and caching. KeyProtect provides uh, encryption key management and is backed by a hardware security module, or HSM. Security Advisor is a relatively new service that well gives you advice around the security of your cloud services. And then SSL certificates or secure socket layer certificates uh, provides the ability to order SSL certificates from a number of suppliers through IBM Cloud. And uh, these help secure your applications against unauthorized interception of data through data encryption. 
Okay, so that's the end of this section. If you're ready to learn uh, about more um, services, feel free to continue to the next video. Uh, there's one more of services to go, and then it'll be a very short summary video. So if you're ready, please feel free to move on.